Today has been the Careers Insight Day where we've had um, students from across the borough coming in to find out about how to develop their interview skills and also about how to get on in careers. So they've been having interviews with different people from different jobs and getting an insight into what you need to do in order to be successful in the career in the future. For me it's about sharing my experience in terms of how I've got on in my career. I got from school to where I am today um, and being able to share some of that with students, particularly those who feel that they're not sure or maybe not able to go to university because I didn't go to university and they're quite amazed when I tell them that I am Chief Executive of John Lang and interested in how I've got there. So what I'm doing is just telling them how I made my decisions on my way through the career and, and uh, what my experience has been and how to, how to move on. In your career. Today we've been talking to different people from different careers and different companies um, and asked them about how they got to where they are now. This is a careers fair where we've been able to talk to a lot of people who work in companies and uh, run apprenticeships or have been part, taken part in apprenticeships. So it's given me an insight into what I could do after six months. It's really helpful. It actually provides us with lots of like, knowledge and information about um, outside what, what works and industry. If you don't enjoy something, then don't do it. So it's good to have that like, passion behind what you're doing. I'm not sure about what I want to do in uni, but from doing this, it, it's given me some sort of ideas of what I really want to pursue in the future. It's basically, you're in a room, loads of volunteers, and you just have to like, go to other people. And at first it's a bit daunting because you don't really know them. But then when you say you shake hands, you get to know them, it gets better. And it gets more smoother and you definitely gain people skills. It helped me like fit in my comfort zone more and that allowed me to ask questions that I would have genuinely asked. At first, when it comes to school, they're always like university, 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 you feel like that's the only way, only path in your life. But then when you come here, you speak to other companies and you actually realise, you know, they don't, some of them didn't go to university, but they still got to place they are. You can be successful without going to university. What has taught me a lot different today is that the way you should approach someone in an interview is taught you about or your body language and that, to be honest, it's all about you, you should relax and that's what makes a good interview. You don't have to just go and do uni or A-levels, you can actually do uh, uh, diplomas, something completely different and still achieve what others have achieved at going uni or A-levels. I think today has been really useful and it's been eye-opening. One thing that was particularly eye-opening was the importance of networking and the networking skills because they do the interview skills the networking skills that students may lack a little bit of confidence in and that might be something to work on in the future. For me, I am desperate for us to try and recruit people directly into John Lang as school leaders, so straight from school. And what this does for me is it shows me how they're thinking um, and it's really spurred me on to go back and say yes we are definitely I'm going to go back with a specific objective of recruiting my two school leaders.